Okay, so friend and I are back, and we are going to watch an episode of One Step Beyond. This is called The Return of Mitchell Campion. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Turn it up a little bit. Where's my volume at? Okay. And hit play. Have you ever been certain your telephone would ring in the next 10 seconds? Or have you ever walked down a strange street and had the feeling that you knew what lay beyond the unturned corner? Yes? Then you've had a brief encounter with the world of the unknown. You are ready for the actual human experience to follow. I might have to turn on the light so that I can crochet. This is the tiny Mediterranean island of Capri Horma. Latitude 39 degrees north, longitude 3 degrees east. 150 miles from the coast of Spain. Mitchell Campion's Magic Island. And who is Mitchell Campion? Well, everyone who knows him, that is those who are really close to him, think of him as a perfectly normal, average American man. But do they know everything about him? Hotel Sud. Senor Campion, we will always have a room. We will find a room. Let me see. Senor Rodriguez, you will leave about two o'clock, I see. Yeah, do you know my name? And of course, I remember. Oh, remember what? Why, you, senor. I beg your pardon? Wow. It's only one month since you left. Uh, no, no, no. You confused me with somebody else. Hey, is uh, Tori for lunch? Starving. Oh, well, the dining room is open, as always. I'll leave my bag here for now, all right? See if if that is his name, then he's not mistaking him for someone else. Yeah, how did you know my name? No, dear. I do not understand, Senor. Okay, never mind. I need light to crochet. Si, Senor. Senor Campion. Bienvenido. It is so good to see you again. Sit down, sit down. Uh, and for this time of day, your usual, uh, uh, how you say, uh, brunch. I remember, no? Well, uh, look, uh, miss, I, uh... Uh, momentito. So he, he doesn't remember being there before, but everybody remembers him? You see, Carla remember, and Juan already prepares the house. Carla remember. And, uh, I love her. Uh, country style. Uh, look, look, just, just a minute. Si, senor. I, I appreciate all this special attention, but uh, I'm afraid you made a mistake. Ah, uh, the tomato juice. It, it is not as you like it. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, that's just the way I like it, but, uh, well, you don't understand. I don't know how you know my name or how you have to know how I like my ham and eggs or any of it, but uh, I'm not whoever you think I am. You are not senior champion? Well, yes, I am. Senor Mitchell Campion from Ohio. Yes, but uh, I've never been on this island before in my life. Never. Don't you understand? Ah, si, claro, of course, I understand. You have never been here before. No, 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 really. I have really never been here before. No, I don't know how you know so much about me, or but believe me, I have never been here. <laughs> of course, claro, I understand. You have never been here before. <laughs> I've never been here before. What? Oh, this is ridiculous. Uh, uh, Machacho. Si, 
Senor. How long have you been working here? Working here? Two years, senor. And have you ever seen me before? No, senor. Nunca. Uh, uh, that's a relief. This is reminding me of a Twilight Zone episode. Why does the senor champion want to be recognized? Oh, who knows? Take that upstairs, huh? Oh, I like he lied because he scared him. <laughs> he caught on quick that the dude didn't want to be recognized for some reason. So he just lied. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. It's Mario's. We've been playing Luigi recently. That's a classy bar, and you got old men playing Peter, chess. You did come back. I knew you would. I told him you would. Go to a bar today and try to find somebody to play a game of chess with you. See what happens. I, I can't imagine what's causing all this confusion, but I know, I know you honestly think you know me, but believe me, I have never seen you before in my life. Miguel, what is it? What is what? Miguel. No, my name is not Miguel. It isn't. Well. I beg your pardon, Mr. Campion. <coughs> now tell me, why did you come back? Oh, now, what is this? What is this? Some sort of joke or what? joke? Some of us here did not find it very funny. Who? What are you talking about? I, for instance, I did not find it very what? funny. What did you find very funny? <laughs> now, look, I arrived here this morning. I've never been here before oh, in my life. Yes. Well, what do you want? <laughs> Well, he pissed Aladdin off the last time I was there, apparently. Gino, you know how you did. After all these grotesque kids from you must understand the house. And I understand all right. Everybody on this island is insane. Miguel, wait. I was here before, last month. Well, apparently everybody on this idiotic island agrees with me. No, no, see, see, yeah. yeah, but I wasn't. I can prove it. Now, take a look in your register and show me my name any day before today. With you? Well, it's the thing I ever heard of. There was somebody who looked like me. He says he's on an island, so at what point does he just say fuck this island and leave. This is like the third One Step Beyond episode while I'm asking how long is it going to take for them to just say fuck this and leave the situation. <laughs> just walk away, I'm not doing this. He's like, lady, I don't know you, but I'll spend a couple minutes with you. Hey, you done made that lady cry. You didn't even say anything to her. Francesca. Oh, he knows her. Yeah, you remember a pretty lady, don't you? Forgot every fucking buddy else in town, but you remember the pretty lady. Fran. Jessica. Fra Francesca did something to him. Something no amount of tequila can take away. So, 
okay, he's obviously been there before if he remembers somebody there. So why doesn't he remember being there before? And this is where we grow our weed. Oh yeah, that's why I forget. Francesca's in there all pissed off at him. He just got stoned again. Got everything. Sorry, the door knocker looks like a dick. <laughs> this is why I couldn't play Mario Kart tonight. I'm not in any condition <laughs> to operate a vehicle. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> He's gonna have a tea party. <laughs> Why did he sit down to the tea set like that? <laughs> Refresh his memory a little bit. <laughs> Try to be patient with me. I'm, I'm all mixed up. All I, I know is ever since I set foot on this island, people have acted like they know me. I thought at first they were mistaking me for somebody else. But the moment I saw you, the moment I saw you, it was like a door beginning to open on a that I know somehow. I am Please. so confused. <laughs> Querido, querido Miguel, 
Gone again? I do not understand, senor. Your name is not here. Well, it's got to be said I was here, didn't you? See, it's a law. Every guest has to sign the register. See, well, where is it? I want to see it. Your name is not there, senor. Do you not insist uh, you are not here? That you were never here before today? Why is that here? Why? I don't know, senor. I don't understand. You still say I was here, don't you? Don't you? Of course you were here. I was. I was. Must be proved somewhere. Monsieur, we are closing. Uh, check your passenger list. I know my name must be on it. Let's you can. Monsieur, we have no passenger list. We only sell tickets. One. I like that he took a brief excursion from figuring out what was going on to have a one night stand with the lady. <laughs> and then just immediately went back to, okay, what is going on? <laughs> Way around trip. That is all. <laughs> Priorities. Well, maybe whoever sold me the ticket or somebody on the ship might remember me. Do you have a passport? Yeah. If you were here last month from a foreign country, it would be stamped by authorities. What is it, Monsieur Campion? What do you want? What? I... Your passport was issued in New York City on the 14th of June, 10 days ago. You could go nowhere before that. <laughs> Dick Tracy would know. He's good at figuring things out. Your name, Alexis. Please, Miguel. Whatever game there no, is... No, 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 please, play. please, listen to me. I'm not playing any game. Now, something is terribly wrong. I know I've never been on this island before in my life. I couldn't have been, but... Francesca, I've, I've seen her. He recognizes I that know. lay. A lot of other things. This place. He's had that before. You? Miguel, are you saying the truth? You really do not remember? It's just that I feel like I'm going out of my mind. I couldn't have been here. Not possible. And yet, more and more, I'm sure I was. I think you are ill, Miguel. No, 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 no. Why is this man's hair and mustache but, and eyebrows so drastically it's different? It's dated June the 14th. That's 10 days ago. 10 days ago, I have never been out of the United States in my life. But can't you see? I couldn't have been. You say, Miguel, you remember things. Can you remember this? That snapshot was taken here over a month ago. Over a month ago. That's impossible. It's like he's supposed to be old, but his hair only Four went white on top ago. and not his facial no, hair at all. What is this? I don't know, Miguel. Oh, well, there has to be a logical answer. I mean, a man can't be in two places at the same time. No, that does not seem logical. And yet, here we are. Are you sure, Miguel? Are you absolutely sure they couldn't have been here and let's say forgotten forgotten how amnesia some any perhaps there was another passport oh, no. but you were yes yes i believe that but i also know that i couldn't possibly have been i was in a hospital in paxton ohio during the time you say i was here i was in a hospital almost a month and i was unconscious most of that month is it time travel I was in a bad automobile accident. Believe me, I, I couldn't have walked two steps out of that bed even if I'd wanted to. Astral projection? Miguel, why have you come here now? Well, the, I was discharged from the hospital. The, the doctor ordered a long rest. But why this island? 
This is not the usual tourist place. I don't know. I read about it a long time ago, and I... I guess it stuck in my mind. And the first time you left the United States, you came right here. Why? Well, I, I guess I always wanted to come here. What are you getting at? I'm not sure. If you really were in that hospital all that time... Miguel, I've lived longer than you. And I have thought more. Do you really think there are no larger answers to the small one we can supply? Larger answers? Oh, Miguel. I had thought you had gone again. Sorry, but I had to find out. Now you know, don't you? Oh, oh what a happy day this was. Miguel, there are answers for everything. Unfortunately, you know very few of them. Querido, do not be so troubled. Whatever that is confusing... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Wait, I can prove this. I can prove it. If it was astral projection, would he have even been solid and real to them at that point? My medical record. Like, I don't think that even makes sense. Mitchell Campion admitted Paxton Memorial Hospital on April 30th underwent surgery and post-operative care for head and chest injuries discharged May 28th. That's three weeks ago. Is he actually dead now? Three weeks ago. Oh yes, that was when I died, I remember now. This guy's hair and facial hair is still fucking with me, dude. Why is this so drastically different? surgery, the patient developed cardiac arrest. Adrenaline was used without response. A chest incision was made, and cardiac massage ultimately revived the patient. But for a period in excess of four minutes, all respiratory and circulatory functions Having entirely ceased, the patient was dead. Four minutes, four hours, four years. Who knows what time really is? We dream complete experiences in seconds, don't we? They say a drowning man relives his entire life in a moment. What about Mitchell Captain? There have been many investigative cases of the miraculous transportation of persons or things over great distances in an instant. It's called teleportation. It has something to do with the still unsolved laws of time and space. All we know is that the facts of the story were carried by the news services to every newspaper in the country. Mm. 
So, okay. Three weeks ago, he is in a car accident and undergoes surgery in which he dies for four minutes. And somehow in those four minutes, he transports to this island where he meets a lady and gets married. That's a lot for four minutes. And, I, I, and if he was dead, how is he solid enough for this lady to, like, touch and fall in love with? Like, how does he have, how is there time for all of this? I'm so, I have too many questions for this one to be real, I think.